Um, I appreciate being able to be here and talk to Impact. And as you can see on the slides, uh, bidding to win, capture planning with Impact and the Gulf Coast Business Development Initiative. And I think there's a... I, I apologize, I wasn't here for the rehearsal because I was in Texas with a project yesterday. So uh, I'm not certain about how to advance this, but I'm guessing that doesn't. Okay. So BHI Energy, uh, who are we? We do power plant maintenance and outage services. We have construction management. We have a fairly substantial uh, specialty welding group out of uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia. We have uh, transmission and distribution work that we do, instrumentation and controls, turbine overhauls, um, nuclear work, both radiological protection, valve work, uh, turbine work in nuke plants, uh, engineering work in nuclear plants, planning, field engineering, pretty much all that. And then the last but not least is renewable energy, both wind, solar, hydro, and our newest as part of this presentation is energy for waste plants. So a little bit about the Gulf Coast Business Development Initiative. Uh, as I started into this and I started to work in Texas, I got to meet uh, a gal by the name of Teresa Magnus and a fellow by the name of Richard D. And uh, as I got to know them, they introduced me more to, to the Gulf Coast Business Development Initiative and the trade agreements, and especially working through the uh, Gulf Coast Executive Council for the trades. I attended a number of different meetings that were quarterly meetings and then the monthly meetings for the Gulf Coast Trades. And then I got to network and meet with additional contractors and EPC firms down in Texas. It was kind of very enjoyable for me. I, uh, I live in Minnesota. Uh, I had really never worked in Texas until starting in 2014 in that Gulf Coast region. And for me, it was, it was a very rewarding experience with the amount of industry and substantial work that's down there. Uh, with Teresa and Richard and uh, a few other folks, we did a complete review of BHI Energy's capabilities, and we worked together to identify um, a company that would fill our skill sets and how we could approach that company moving through 2015 and in 2016. So uh, as you can see on the slide, the company that we target is, is a company called Covanta. And I don't know if anybody in here has worked in Covanta, but it's very uh, substantial energy for waste business. And we are working maintenance and project work for Covanta. Oops. My apologies. Okay, so who is Covanta? Covanta is a fairly substantial business in energy for waste in North America. They have 42 units. They have five different regions that they operate in. They burn trash, essentially, it's part of their business. They also generate power. They also sell off all the metals that come out of the trash. They also create biomass fuel at some of their units. Their units, in and of themselves, are contracted with local municipalities and or counties and or local businesses. They're substantial in the Northeast. They're substantial in Florida. They have a number of units scattered throughout the uh, states, including one in Hawaii that is a very substantial unit, and a couple that are up in Canada. Okay, what do they do? They run more than 2,000 days of outages per year at all 42 of their units. They run what's called small outages, about five-day outages and plant turnarounds, and they do 10-day outages uh, and 15- and 20-day outages, depending on the projects and the work. Okay, so how did the process work? Well, I got it introduced to Richard and Teresa. We started to look at how we could fit with Covanta. Teresa introduced me to a fellow that was the strategic sourcing manager and director for Covanta. I went out to the uh, Mid-Atlantic and flew into Philly, and they got to, took me into what I would call probably one of their most substantial plants. It's got four different uh, incinerators. They burn about 3,500 tons of trash a day there. They had about 21 rigs that were lined up to dump the trash. And it's the first time I had ever been in an energy for waste plant before in my life. And uh, they decided to take me to the tipping zone and the worst part of the plant so I could firsthand experience what it was like to work inside of an energy for waste facility. 
Then they took me up to their Plymouth plant. We went into Trenton, and we went into a few of the other plants to experience what it was like for a plant turnaround and how to do work there. And I uh, got to meet with their facility managers, their maintenance managers, and some of the key individuals that are there. So in 2016, this process took about nine months. For, for me, i um, a pretty patient guy. I was hoping it was going to take less time, but it took quite a bit of time. But we got uh, submitted a proposal to, to Covanta, and we signed on as a national contractor for Covanta. Covanta in 2015 had a goal to, through the strategy of their organization, to delimit the number of contractors that they used throughout the United States. And the reason they wanted to do that was because they had more than 350 subcontractors and vendors working at all their facilities. They were inconsistent in their approach to do work. And the quality of the work varied between all of their units and how they performed outages and project work. So luckily, in uh, God's grace, I got a contract with them October 2016. And we started down the path of starting to get introduced to all their units in the back end of 16 and starting to bid on work. 2017. What was that process like? <clears throat> well, for me, I grew up in utilities. I grew up working in nuclear power. I grew up working in different facilities. Energy for waste was completely unique. I had to learn the technology. I had to learn the differences. And because they have 42 units, each one of the regions, as you all know, they, their cultures are different. Their behaviors are different. What they want out of the workers is different. It just varies. So I've gotten an opportunity to start submitting proposals and to uh, working with Covanta. One of the things and part of what I am striving to do is to introduce trades to all of their open shop plants. The safety's improved, the training's a better quality training product, better workforce, higher level of capabilities. And that's what I talk to all their facility managers about. Currently, uh, right now I'm waiting for a circ water project that's uh, gonna be given to us out of Lake County it's a facility that's north of uh, Orlando. I've also met uh, with uh, their facilities down in Tampa. They have three different power plants that are down in Tampa, and right now they're running a project uh, for the Tampa um, County down there uh, at $150 million in upgrades to their Pinellas unit. And actually, in two weeks from now, I go back down to meet with them to talk about the trades and to talk about projects work in the fall for their Pinellas unit. And then as I continue with their work in Covanta, I'm just working to uh, leverage all the trades, leverage my company, BHI Energy, and to start uh, performing more and more work across their company. If I can get a third of their work as a general contractor or even more, that's where I'd like to be in 18 and 19. It is by no means a, uh, a short process. It, it has taken a while, and it's taken a little bit of time to get into these units, but now through... Uh, the efforts of the Gulf Coast uh, Business Development Initiative and the people that I've met, that some of whom are in this room, we have a leg into that uh, company and working in all their 42 units. All right, so that was my 15 minutes. And I really appreciate the time, and I thank you for the opportunity to work with you all.